in the Lord. I come up uh, just to worship with you this morning. I would like to do it, I watch you uh, on YouTube a lot. I've seen uh, things on the Facebook, different things. And folks, it's not every word that you go, uh, that you can feel the power of God. And it's not everything that you see that comes out in the name of the Lord that's of God. But you tell the difference. And I appreciate you folks. I feel like I know you. Uh, Dirty, yeah. different ones, the blue flowers, yeah, different ones. I, I can't write it. I, I have to get your name. I remember our ugly faces, brother. That's all right. <laughs> but it's good to be in the church house with you. I got a flower on her heart. We'll, we'll, yeah. uh, well, well, folks, where I come from, we worship a little different than you do here. That's all right. We worship the same God, same God. the same Jesus Christ. I mean, there's one God, there's one Son, his name is Jesus. He died to save my soul. Yeah. And brother was talking about being worthy. Worthiness has got nothing to do with it. If I had to be worthy to get saved, I'd have died and went to hell. That's right. If I had to be worthy to be in this church this morning, I'd have stayed in Tennessee. Worthiness has got nothing to do with it. But I, I know a man that's worthy this morning. I'd like to say just a few yeah. words about him, and I'll get out of your way. Oh, no, 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 back the box. And the Word of God, where the Bible talks about a woman that come in where Jesus was at, and uh, she had an alabaster box. I don't know whether you felt much about the box or not, but that alabaster box was a, was a jar carved out of, out of alabaster. That jar, Brother Jerry, was worth a lot. Amen. Amen. I mean, the treasure inside was worth more Amen. than the box, but the box itself was worth a lot. And the Bible says she come in and she broke uh, this alabaster box and she anointed the Lord. Yeah. Amen. As I thought about that, Brother Jerry, I thought about uh, over in the Word of God where the Lord told uh, 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 Moses to go out. He said, get you some cheetah wood. And uh, he said, overlay that inside and out with gold. Amen. And I'll tell you what he made when he made the Ark of the Covenant. He made a treasure box. Amen. And, and a treasure chest if you'll have it. And the Bible said, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half deep, a cubit and a half wide. And he said, on top of that, he said, I want you to put the mercy seat. Amen. It's to be a cubit and a half wide, two and a half cubits long. And he covered Amen. The whole top of the box. Amen. And then on top of that, he said, I want you to put uh, uh, an angel on both sides. And he told us in the Word of God, he said, he told the children of Israel, he said, if you do what I tell you, he said, I'll meet with you between the angles. Amen. Amen. Now I'm just going to say a few words. Amen. Right. 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 I heard these men preach. Amen. And I know I fell in comparison, amen, to what they can do and what they say, but uh, the fellow at that box, amen, and Brother Jerry, amen, they're going all over the world, amen, looking for the box, amen, I mean, it's covered in gold, amen, it's got a great value to it, but the whole world would like to find that box, amen, today, but I want you to know there was something, amen, inside the box, amen, worth a whole lot. Right. Hey, man, that that golden box. Right. Hey, man, the world was like to find inside the box. Right. 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 Right
Amen. Up in this part of the country. Amen. Look where I come from. Amen. I want you to know they're getting pretty bad. Amen. They come way back. So everything holy. Everything godly. Amen. Everything that's sent down from God out of heaven. Amen. They do not. I mean, Brother Jerry called it. There a little while ago. The same dry way. Amen. That same dry way. Amen. The dragon men and women. Open the gate by my behavior. Amen. Every day. Amen. We're living in a time. Amen. You don't preach hell. Amen. Anymore. Amen. Somebody will be offended. If you call it sin. Somebody will be offended. Amen. The world always been offended. Amen. By the truth. But the word of God that I read. Said, Look, we're hot. Oh, the truth will set right. you free. Amen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, son. Hot. Oh, hot. Well, glory. Hot. Hey, Amen. Hot. Hey, Amen. Hot. Hey, Amen. I always have a lot of power about it. Hot. Yeah. Hey, Amen. You got a lot of power about you today. Hot. Yeah. Hey, Amen. You just get a hold of Jesus. Hot. Yeah. Live hold it up right. Hot. But turn yeah. loose in the world. Hot. And draw nigh to the Lord. Hot. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Oh, they sing a song there. Hot. Hey, Amen. Thank you. 
for me. Amen. Maybe you ought to cry out to him. See what he's done for you. Amen. Open that box up. See what's on the inside. Amen. See whether God's leadership's in there. Amen. Whether God's laws in there or not. You say, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this. Amen. This outward man. This is your box. Amen. That was a testimony. Amen. The heart. If you ain't got the testimony of Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you're going to die to hell. Uh-huh. That's true. That's true. She said, Preacher, I didn't come here all that. I didn't come say all that. I just come down this way to worship with you. I love you folks. Amen. Amen. There's only one Jesus Christ. The same one that's down where I live. It's the same one that's over here. One spirit. Yep. The one spirit. Yep. But that spirit comes through the house of God. Yeah. It feels the same. It does. If I was to take this Bible that you got here home with me, and I got up at any church where I live, and I read out of it, it reads just exactly like it reads here. It sure does. It only reads one way, folks. And I believe this. Get it right. Live right, die right, you won't get any yeah. denomination. It is the whole wide world. Yeah. And still be a child of God. Amen. And that our devil will stand on the church has to go into. And what's wrong with the world too? I do know what's wrong with they turn their back on God. And it's gonna to come to a swift end and soon. Sooner than we can imagine. This thing's gonna wind up, folks. In just a little while, it's gonna to be too late to cry out to God. Go ahead, whoever's going. What about your little gift? Little box, little lamb. Share that with us today. A little lamb. Yeah. Told us here. Let's see what we challenge. I preached about a lamp the other day. It goes back to that lamb. Yeah. You don't have one here that I see at Kerosene Lane. I say just a few words about that. Yeah, you can take some time. No, I just do well. He was talking about a, a lane. Of, of, I imagine you're talking about the one I got for Christmas when I was a yeah, kid. That's it. Your boy. The little red lantern. We were dirt poor. Always. My family. I mean, I got beat up in school because I was the poorest kid in Christ. My daddy bought me a little red lantern for Christmas. He handed me that lantern. Brother Jerry, this little bitty thing, a little red lantern. Mm-hmm. And I washed and put the oil in it. He turned the wick up. He lit that thing. He got everything set up just right. He closed the wick up. He gave me that lantern. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a few words about that. Right. You know. I took that little old lantern. I sat in the living room with my dad on Christmas Eve. They talk about global warming, honey. It was pretty warm that night. And I sat in there on the floor. And I, he had that thing lit, and he showed me the. I call it a gizmo. You can call it what he wants. A little gear on the side that turns you wick up and down. And he said, don't you mess with that boy. He said, I got that set just exactly right. And he said, that's, that's the way it works. Sure well, I took that line and I carried it around the house. And my dad, I told my dad, I said, don't make, it don't make much light. And dad said, it won't in here. But he said, it will if you go outside. And I walked outside, the big old cottonwood there in the front yard. I sat down under that cottonwood tree. Set that little old lamp out there, a little old glow of light around me, probably no wider than from this bench to this bench. Just a, and it's just such a warm little old light. And I had that sitting there, and I was thinking about that light shining around me. And listen, listen folks, I live, where I live, that was hipster parlor. Big old bottom. Then on the other side of the bottom was the beer bottoms that went way off. A little flatter where I come from than this year. Where I was at, I didn't make much light, but I was sure you people over in Beer, if they'd been outside, they could see my light across the river. But I will say this about the lane. You take a kerosene lane, it's got a little bowl on the bottom. All of them just, about all of them just seen a kerosene lane. And you put oil in the bottom. 
And then the wick hangs down, Brother Jerry, into that oil. And then you got this little gives oil on the side. That's the thinking part. If you don't look at it like that, the brains of the whole thing. That's the only thing that works on the kerosene lamp. You turn that up and down, and the wick will go up and down. The globe sits on top of that, and you take the globe off, you light it, you adjust that thing, you put the globe back on. Let's see more with it. You take that lamp, and if you don't see a human being, a child of God, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, the wick's the tongue. And the Bible said, uh, as on uh, the day of Pentecost, it was full of tongue of fire and come all over the city. It's all right, folks. You take it, you look at it, you get home. And, and the grove's your glory. When you get all that set up, you get it just right, it'll make a, a, a certain amount of life. You're not going to get no more out of that, folks, than what it'll make. And if you turn that thing up too high, that wick gets too high to black your globe. It makes yes, no difference how much light you got on the inside. You can't see it on the outside. You won't light the room up. You'll have to clean that thing. And the best way to clean it is take a newspaper, the Word of God, and get in there and wipe that thing out. I, this is a little hard to talk about. But it's everything that you can think of in that line. And that's the way you ought to be if you're going to be a, a light and a witness. But I said that lamp that Brother Jerry was talking about, that little rain, and I carried it outside, and I sat there for it a little while, and I thought, I'm going to make a little more light. And I turned that thing up, in just a few minutes, I couldn't see anything. And I went back in the house. When the Lord saved me, He filled me up, He cleaned me up, He adjusted me just right, and He said, Now, Gordon, he said, you don't touch this, you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Just in a little while, I had to go home with this man. And if I, if, 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 what I had to do, I had to do just like I had to do then. I had to go back to Daddy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And let Daddy clean you back up and set me back right. Uh -huh. So, if you think you can go through life without the Lord, that's a belief in our man. I died 30 years ago and I don't ever have to talk to the Lord. If you got that kind, you didn't get the real kind. Wow. The real kind will draw you to the Lord when you do Amen. things you ought not to do. Yeah. Go ahead. Somebody come on. Yeah. <coughs>